Are you ready for another clangers? Can your system take any more? I've checked the rules, the government rules, and we safe clangers. COVID's going to avoid us. I've had a substantial meal before filming. Enjoy. the globe you've met another wise choice you've pressed play on the unique the one and only the quirky carl's clangers welcome back to episode 964 i think it is now we've been going for a while not been any clash yet but we're still going still going for the love of it straight from the heart clangers straight from the heart and the very few of you that join in that's all that matters who needs a million pound anyway who needs it not me so we're happy and we're still going. That's three in a week, clangers. I'm getting a bit of uh, a taste for filming and editing nowadays. Getting into it, big time. Just try and help us through this crazy, crazy lockdown and crazy year that we're in and involved with that, quite frankly, I'm bored of. But anyway, I keep showing interest in it. So I'll keep bringing you something to maybe raise a smile on your boat race. Take off the frown a little bit. No sale on the pretty green... Jacket clangers, no sale on that one, so I'm not going to bother showing you it. It'd fit an action man, so if you're very, very slim or you haven't eaten for a while, leave us a comment and then you can have that one for a tenner. Chuck us a tenner, and it's all yours, clangers. And I'll even sign it for you as well if you really want to. If you don't, I wouldn't, but I mean, if you want it, I will. It's yours. So there's just going to, before we go any further, and we'll go further, clangers, without further ado. Um, just a couple of little notes I've been reading in the lockdown rules to bring you. I'll have to read these, so sorry if I look up claggers, because they are quite intricate. And it's getting all sort of detailed, isn't it? All detailed. So here's the first. This might affect you if you're watching now, claggers, because um, often, you know, like refreshments you, and you're watching. So the second rule, you'll see what I mean. I've just been reading the government guidelines you know, in general, really, they're quite bizarre, aren't they? This one is a very strange one. If you can keep, you can drink a can of canned popped drink, um, Dr. Pepper, Diet Pepsi, whatever you, your sort of taste is, or even ginger beer if you're really, really desperate. But only if you're standing on one leg with your first finger pointing upwards at 45 degrees, or you've got to be wearing a short sleeve turquoise shirt and straight cut cords. That's the only way you're allowed to drink pop. So be careful, clangers, before watching this if you haven't done that. The second rule for watching any TV, which includes YouTube, Netflix, and normal terrestrial TV, is you must proceed after three one-arm press-ups and only able to watch while in planking position with one arm up in the air at 45 degrees while crunching a dry Weetabix. <laughs> This is all COVID stuff, clangers. It's important, like, so make sure you get them first. I don't want you to get into trouble. So, I mean, the government guidelines are there for you to follow. You've got to follow them. So make sure you're crunching a dry Weetabix. What's that going to do with it? But they're there anyway, clangers. So just be prepared. I've pre-warned you. I don't want you to get any heavy fines for breaking any lockdown rules. So I'll put the rules there because you're probably going to drink a can of pop while watching this. And you obviously you're watching it. So they're two important rules you must, you must uh, obey by. A bye bye, a bear bye, a bye bye. Um, yeah, you've got to watch it. This second one's a weird one. In planking position with one arm up in the air while crunching a dry wheat a bit. So, how do you. Don't ask me, clangers. Go on the government website and look it up yourself how to do it. It gives you little diagrams and instructions on how to do it there. I can't help you with how to. I can only tell you what you need to do before you watch this fantastic show. Um, we've got an event of the week, clangers. It's struggling, I really am struggling with um, stuff to review as well. It's just dried up, hasn't it? I hope it's not a start of the end of Clangers like just as we get going. 
but I have found something, and it's, it is an event, Clangers. It's the World Eating Championships. It is an event, Clangers. This, these are events that do actually happen. You might think this guy's crackers. You can think what you want. As long as I don't hear you say it, I'm not bothered. Uh, the actual events that I do look up quirky events for you, and this is happening. It's the World Eating Championships, and it happens on Sunday at 1 p.m. at 96 Byland View, Doncaster. And that's a uh, £5 a ticket. You're going to break lockdown rules at your own risk, or your own stupidity. Don't, tell, don't say to anyone that I told you to come, because it's up to you whether you go or not. And if you fancy going, it's not that far, is it? 80 miles or something? You could walk that, couldn't you? You could leg it. Good exercise. Get rid of some of the old lockdown belly. And it's £5 a ticket, family ticket. This is very, very cheap, clangers. That starts, as I say, at 1pm. It's drive at your own risk, and grab a cone on the way there, clangers. Let me just, I can't see this rest of this. Reigning champion, Frank the Munch Caxton, will be signing autographs before the actual event clangers. And we've got a, a picture of him here. This is what, I always prove what I'm talking about clangers. Do you know what I mean? Let me just look at the camera. Look at that guy, look. He's had enough, hasn't he? He's tipped him over edge. Apparently there, he won his championship there from last year. And he was on his 50th hot dog. There's some other contenders there, you're going to see all them at the event climbers. But he looks like he's put a few hot dogs away, doesn't he, and, and chips. And they're the ones that didn't even get through the first round. And you can see this guy in a chequered shirt climbers. He's, um, I mean, I eat more than that for a snack, so I don't know why he bothered to enter, but he did anyway. But like I say, he will be there, will Frank? I can't remember his name, never heard of him. But he's a reigning champion, eating champion, and basically what they do is they get, just eat. That's it, Clangers. I mean, you could sit there with your cone watching them eat mountains of food until they're physically sick, Clangers. If that's your thing, if that does it for you, then you go along, you enjoy yourselves, because there's nothing else to do, is there? And, you know, we're stuck at the moment. Stuck at the moment. Now, I've got a basic review, really, but it's nice of Miss Hobson. So, shouts coming out to you, my better half, my more sensible half of the relationship, as not being so sensible this time because she's ordered me some especially online this is dedication to some of the fans are clangers to go out of the way you know after you can't bother to comment or even watch it but these people that are loving the show loving what I do um, ordered these online now I don't think these would be too bad either firstly did that one won't be that's a super sour extreme sour sweet let's give this a go I hate sour stuff so this is not going to sit very well it's open and unopened look. but these other ones are meant to be chilly hot like this could be a bit of a task so give this a try <laughs> no 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 I don't do that that is foul anyway anyone gets to enjoyment out of that that's not the review that I was just trying to taste that but these is a say clangers upside down look that's what you get with clangers red hot the red hot clangers the steaming hot in your old palate so let's see what these do. Instead of being a bit of a win, I'm going to go for a good chunk of these. Let's get a handful, Clangers. Proof. Should we go for that? Look at that. There's a fair few there, like, isn't there? They're going to pound me out of them. I'm not looking forward to this, Clangers. It's, it can't be chilli jam heat, can it? It's not going to be that standard. Straight down, yeah. Oh! Oh, yeah, man, this is a, a horrible. I'm going to kill him, I'm going to man up. Oh, try him. Oh, I mean. They remind me of something. They're red hot. Oh, that is nasty. Miss Hobson. Oh, you're a cruel lady. What can I do with these now? Stuck with them just a minute, Clang. Oh, they're dingy. Stay to hands. I wouldn't say they're not bearable, but I wouldn't have fancied chewing them like. I think I ever did it with, with a amount. I chucked in gob there like. They are red hot. And they're quite hot. They're not chilli jam standard, but they're, they're very, very hot. Like I think I made a big schoolboy error. Chuck in a handful of them straight down me gullet. They're a clanger. They're a... I don't know quite... They're not too bad, actually. 
Do you like that sort of thing? Do you know what I mean? I mean, people know I don't like sour and hot stuff. I think that's why they give me them. I'd give them a three out of ten. They're not the worst things, but I wouldn't recommend you putting a 24 in your gob like I just did then, flaggers. Just go for something steady away, but I wouldn't buy them, do you know what I mean? I wouldn't buy them, but thanks anyway, Miss Hobson, for entertaining us once again. So they're a 3 out of 10. So if you see them online, I don't think they're very expensive, right? If you want to get some for your better half, just to really piss them off, you know, buy some of them for them. 3 out of 10, flaggers, coming up right now around now, 3 out of 10 for the red hot sweets, not the best, but not the worst, I've eaten worse, so that's it clangers, we've had another show, that's 3 in a week, <laughs> what more do you want, do you know what I mean, and you, you're getting them for free, so like I said to you before clangers, enjoy the event of the week, um, go along to that tomorrow in Donny, he's only about 80 miles away, he could walk it, couple of hours, set off nice and early, you'll be there by one o'clock, good exercise as well, five pound a ticket, grab a cone, and you've had, obviously the lockdown rules, I want you to take these seriously, Flangers, because I don't want any responsibility if you're getting a fine for watching this while doing it not correctly to government guidelines and COVID rules and stuff, so get that right, Flangers, and just remember to make sure you, you eat substantial meals, Flangers, before you even think about having a pint of lager, you know. Scare COVID off, have a substantial meal, and follow the lockdown rules so you'll be safe. And then the next one, Clangers, is going to be, I fear, is the Christmas special. And they say, like I said, this chug, the sour sweet was minging, but I wasn't reviewing that. The red hot little, I don't know what they are, but like sweet skittles sort of things, but they are quite spicy, like they're not the hottest on earth. Um, they're a three out of ten, they're a clanger. They're a nasty, horrible taste in your gob. So have a drink of water, get rid of it. Oh, lovely, that's got really a taste of it, that. So keep safe, clangers, and behave yourselves. Follow all these rules. You might think they're stupid, but they're there for a reason. They're there for to, to protect us while this nasty pandemic's still up and running. Hopefully, for, it won't be much longer. And um, keep safe, and please tune in next time. Hit a like, subscribe, or don't bother. Do what you want. Peace out. <laughs>